it's gonna sound weird maybe, but it's usually very like tariff, like dark and demonic in nature, terrifying. It's almost like there's things in the dream realm that are like sucking you in and trying to keep you trapped in like this dream layer, but they're like tormenting you while you're in the dream layer. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Out of pure trashy food craves, today I'll be whipping up a strange little mac and cheese. We got the three cheese shells from none other than Kraft Dinner. A little cheese whiz, we'll talk about those later. Got some sausages we're gonna fry up, a little real cheese, ketchup Doritos. Hmm, what's he gonna do with those? I don't know. Sour cream too, okay. Let's, yep, you know. Very obvious part of the process, but showing you anyway, shells in the pool. <laughs> Two boxes. No sticking to the bottom. Get your shells off the bottom. We don't do starchy pots round hill. Ooh, mesmerizing noodles and water. <laughs> While those are doing that, is there anybody else out there OCD like me that like cream cheese or anything like that? In this case, the old whiz, cheese whiz. Do you like clean under the edges and all around inside the jar and like level off? The spread down at the bottom where it is currently because I do with cream cheese with <laughs> this stuff like it's always leveled off and cleaned on the inside edges I know OCD I'm weird alright so the nudes are finito time to strain also time to build this strange non-traditional little cheese sauce we got going on here so it goes cheese whiz Sour cream that needs to be used up. The dry shit from the KD. A sploosh of mild hot pepper brine. We warm and whisk this into a frenzy. Now we got that melted and mixed. A handful of real cheese. Incorporate that cheese, the real deal. So we get some nice strings in here. Low and slow, don't burn yourself. And by that I mean don't burn it to the pan. Take a little, a little taste test. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. All right, pull up a couple Smokies. Just gonna do a score on these. A little crisscross applesauce. And then I'm going to bake these off in the toaster oven for about, let's say, eight minutes or so until nice and crispy. While the sausage is cooking, incorporate the nudes. Give them a little mix and a tossy toss. Touch more cheese and a sploosh of hot water just to thin things out a little bit, make it a touch more runny. You can hear those sausages in the back maybe, just popping those greases. There we go. Coming together for a late night crave, right? Late night crave, right? All right, a little taste to see if we need anything. Nope. Salt's good and she's cheesy. Eight minutes later, perfectly cooked and crispy. Sausage, sausages, a little grease back in. Telling me you don't want to sink your teeth into this crispy toasted sausage? be lying all right beautiful warm runny ish cheesy mac and cheese into our dish of course and then you wait there's still more because what is every mac and cheese every good mac and cheese what does it deserve a cheesy top of course And that's going into broil for a few minutes. So here she is, my strange yet cravy sausage mac and cheese. I'm definitely ready to get sunk into this. And do you think he didn't stop by Popeyes to get sauces aplenty just for this? He sure did. 
He sure, sure did. This one looks good. I got to tell you, a lot of favorites here. So I can't wait to get a bite on this. I love these sausages. Mac and cheese is a no brainer delicious, although I don't eat it that often. I find it to be a once in a while crave for me. We got a polar pot. We got a fresh Dr. Pepper with the crispy ice. My favorite. And then a curveball. Some people put ketchup on their mac and cheese. I certainly have been one in the past. Today we have different sauces, Popeye sauces, a sweet heat, and my favorite favorite, the Black and Ranch. But I was talking about Doritos ketchup recently, and I gotta tell you, these are a delicious, delicious ketchup chip rendition, tortilla chip rendition, evidently. Uh, but I think some bites of crunchy Dorito cheese with the mac and cheese may be paramount. So let's get into it. All right, it's got the retro look, very like uh, 60s-esque, I might say. But let's, let's, do a, let's do a crack and sniff, even though I already know they're flames. Let it overtake your senses. Just let it breathe. A good bottle of wine. A bag of Dorito wine. Ketchup. Mm, wow. Suppose I'll put like a little side tray, a little side stash, and then I got to get us in for the first ultimate bite. And I am going to go for an ultimate bite. First off, look at that. <laughs> you tell me that don't look good. Come on now, you'd be lying, you'd be lying. Okay, beauty cook sausage. And what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna do one part sweet heat dab on the mac and cheese. And then we're gonna do one part, we're gonna do one part dirty Dunkaroo sausage style into the black and ranch. And we're gonna combine those parts into a singular bite of incredibleness. So, mac and cheese first. Mm -hmm. Followed up by a ketchup Dorito. I haven't had a mac and cheese in forever, but with shells, very rarely. Fantastic move though. Really, really works. The sweet heat, of course, definitely works. Anything with cheese that's sweet and hot generally tends to work. Mm -hmm. Wow. For a technically I don't know, like a low end seeming meal. <laughs> Very delicious. Does this ranch work on the sausage? Kinda. I don't say I wouldn't say it's a perfect match. Mm. That really works. Bit my cheek. All good. Actually, bit my tongue so aggressively the other night, like waking out of sleep. It woke me out of sleep. I smashed down on the side of my tongue, both sides actually. 
I don't know if I was having crazy dreams or what. But it wasn't a good way to awake. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But like I'm saying, these ketchup Doritos are an elite flavor. I also had insane, and I mean insane, sleep paralysis recently. Something I get every once in a while, not often. And let me tell you, it's super strange. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced it. I'm sure some of you have. But it's usually... It's going to sound weird maybe, but it's usually very like tariff like dark and demonic in nature, terrifying. It's almost like there's things in the dream realm that are like sucking you in and trying to keep you trapped in like this dream layer, but they're like tormenting you while you're in the dream layer. For me, it's even trippier because I'll be lucid in the dream and my environment seems like my waking environment in a sense, but I know that I'm in a dream. So I'm lucid and conscious and aware of the fact that I am in a dream and there's like this gravitational pull to keep you in the dream being fucked with by like entities. And then I pull myself out of the out of the dream state back into what I think is waking reality. Which I come to find out is just another layer of dream state. I'll do something like try to wave my hand in front of my face. Like I'd be able to do if I was awake. And it like, in my head, I think it, but it doesn't happen. So I realized I only pulled myself out of one layer of the Russian nesting doll dream paralysis. It's super crazy. I don't know if any of y'all have experienced something like this, but I'd love to read your experiences because it is really the weirdest thing ever. And that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like layers of dreams. Where I'm lucid. Trying to escape back to waking reality. Whilst evading. These like energetic entities that are there. To mess with you. To like not give you a good time. Like it's not a good dream. It's very... Scary. So if y'all have any personal experiences with that, let me know down below because it is super weird. I've never made a cheese sauce this exact way before. But I gotta tell you, it's really quite delicious. I've been thinking about dreams and how f just they're so strange. Like, I'll go for time where it's like, I don't remember any of my dreams. And then, for like a week straight,
I'll just lucid dream every night. I remember like most of it upon waking. I'll just recap it in my head and I'll have been lucid in the dream. I could kind of control things. And these aren't bad dreams. These are like good dreams, like strange dreams, fun dreams, just dreams I'm indifferent to, like they vary. Some are awesome though. Some are like, you got superpowers and shit that you can fly around and da da da. And... I actually have these two dreams. Not the same dream, but similar. They're renditions of each other. Ongoing. Where. And the snowboarding one happens more than the dirt biking. But they're both similar in nature where where I'll come up to a jump at what seems like just like a normal-ish speed for real life. And then in the dream, I hit the jump and I just get like turbo boosted, ejected, like into the sky so high. And I'm like, oh shit, like this is not going to end well. And it's really like floaty. And I can like trick around. And I think I'm gonna die upon landing. But I land smooth. Fine, everything is all good. And I just have like these crazy <laughs> super abilities to go huge on both snowboard and dirt bike in my dreams. Like SSX tricky, but in my dreams. That's an old snowboarding game for PlayStation, I think. And this is why, right here, why I say I don't eat mac and cheese often is because it's so rich. I have you. That I'm already full. I just can't pile away. Entire dishes of it. I understand why it's a side dish in uh, like a lot of southern cooking, right? You just have a few spoonfuls. And then the rest, you got your chicken, your greens, your cornbread, like, you get a bite of everything. Mac and cheese, as a main dish, is too much. I guess technically I ate, like, one whole box, because so there's two boxes. Very delicious. I never made that sauce before. Um, it worked. It works. Um, that little bit of brine in there just gives it like that salty, little funky pop. But you don't really taste it. Like it doesn't taste like a queso mac and cheese, right? It doesn't taste like um, like Tex Mex. And then this sauce actually, the sweet heat goes. So, so good. I want just one more little nibble of that. Mm, it's amazing. The cheese. The richness of the cheese nullifies the heat. Because this has a little bit, like quite a kick to it when you have it on the chicken and stuff. But because of the cheese, that fat just neutralizes the heat. And a cold Dr. Pepper always comes in clutch. All right. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Sorry I'm not uh, 
you know, a Matt Stoney or an ASMR bro or anything. I don't got the gullet for that. Like my gullet taps with my gullet taps and that's it. It can't be more than that. Otherwise it's just death. Like it's just <laughs> bent over, laying over, all gutted out. It's not a fun experience. So anyways, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Tell me about your uh, sleep paralysis dreams if you have any. Cheers.